Hello everyone, welcome back to How to Explain Channel. This is the first video to uh, give you on how to use DTS Monaco software for coding, programming, enabling or disabling the hidden feature from basic to advanced level. Step by step, we we'll have you master this software. So don't miss any video. Let's start. To run DTS Monaco, you'll need a compatible laptop, the DTS Monaco software and hardware interfaces such as C4, C5, C6 or T6. This is the DTS Monaco coding and programming software which provides basic functions such as reading and clearing fault codes. Its main function is control unit coding. To get started, the first step is to connect the software to a hardware interface. In this case, I'm using the C6 diagnostic device. Next, we select the vehicle. Each vehicle corresponds to a different project file. For vehicles before 2014, the project files use the .cbf extension. For vehicles from 2014 onward, the files typically use the .desmr extension. Here I'm connecting to a 2009 Mercedes S-Class, so the file I'm using has a .cbf extension. Choosing the correct project file is crucial, otherwise the software won't be able to communicate with the vehicle's control units. These are all the control units present in the vehicle. To begin, I press Ctrl plus A to select all, then click Open. This is the main interface of the DTS Monaco software. Here we have a toolbar with functions like Quick Test, which gives an overview of all faults in the vehicle. Diagnostic Trouble Code, also known as DTC, used to diagnose specific faults. In this section, you can choose the control unit you want to diagnose. After connecting to the control unit, you can read fault codes. The most basic functions are reading and clearing fault codes. Just click read and the software will display all the faults from the connected control unit. Since this software is developed in Germany, the interface and many of the coding parameters are written in German, mixed with some English. In this example, the control unit has 10 fault codes. The ones labeled no active are not currently affecting the system. The active faults, however, need to be addressed. After clearing the codes and reading again, only two active faults remain. These are the ones we'll need to fix. Besides reading and clearing codes, another key function is programming. To program a control unit, you need to select a flash file, which contains the data used for programming. Once the file is selected, click Run to begin the programming process. So, when do we use programming? We program the ECU when we want to. Reload basic parameters to the control unit, or recover a frozen or non-responsive ECU, restoring it to factory settings. Next to that, we have the variant coding section, which allows us to modify parameters within the control unit. This includes simple changes like switching units from Celsius to Fahrenheit or enabling disabling certain display features in the vehicle. Once your changes are made, click Do Coding. When the progress bar reaches 100%, the coding has been successfully applied. You can then check the vehicle to verify that the changes have taken effect. We've compiled everything we know about DTS Monaco into this book. It contains seven chapters that cover all the basic knowledge about the software. In addition, the book includes real-world repair cases and instructions on how to use DTS Monaco to code and unlock hidden features. When you purchase the book, you'll also be invited to join a private study group where you can ask questions, get support and practice the techniques discussed completely free of charge. We want to ensure that anyone who reads this book can become proficient in using DTS Monaco. If you find this video helpful or would like to see more content like this, please leave a like, subscribe and comment to give me the motivation to create more videos.